what is going on? Hope you are having a fantastic day, fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It's your host, Galadon, and thank you so much for stopping by another beautiful episode of Gold Pass Clash of Clans, the 112th installment of the epic series where all we do is buy the Gold Pass and then play Clash of Clans as, as much as humanly possible, except for when I'm on vacation, which I was, and I just got back, and today's episode is going to catch up on all that happened around that time, so if you want to be caught up on what is going on on the channel and in Clash of Clans, now is a great time to subscribe, turn on notifications, because you never know when there could be sneak peeks right around the corner, just saying, okay? Just, just, just putting that out there for all those of you that keep on asking me, Galadon, when do the sneak peeks start? I promise you, earliest most accurate update information. Okay, let's get into some upgrades today. I'm going to do something that I swore I would never do and something that I warn all of you not to do if you're playing with the gold pass in Clash of Clans, okay? And so you can learn from my mistakes. We'll get to that in just a moment right here. I am making sure that I use these runes before I get too many of them and they get forced into gems. So we popped a Dark Elixir rune, we went ahead and did some stuff in the lab, and yes, it's always going to take a backseat to the priorities of the home village heroes. But, you know, when you've got a ton of Dark Elixir, like we did here, it's time to go ahead and get a couple of those upgrades done. Obviously not nearly as exciting as maxed out heroes, but, you know, okay. Let's move on. This is, again, going to cover probably a good two weeks of footage, maybe even more in today's episode. So this is an episode that goes through a lot that happened. And yes, of course, I am eliminating most of the raids because you guys pretty much know what is happening at this point. We've tried it all and we are sneaky goblin fans. Now, also, we are working on the Town Hall Giga Inferno upgrades, among other things. Like to get this maxed out to level five like it is over on No Cash Clash because again, there's a lot of competition going on there. Okay, this transition is really slow because this was a 10 day break. Okay, we were gone for 10 full days, no clash playing. I bought a shield on the Legend League Galadon account and over here, uh, okay, uh, I, I, um, I have to admit, I, I didn't play clan games at all on either Gold Pass or No Cash Clash. I missed an entire month of clan games, you guys. That's so irresponsible. So much free stuff was foregone and uh, yeah, and gone forever. But at least the same thing happened to both No Cash and Gold Pass. So it's not like one had an unfair advantage. But that is not what I said I would never do. And hold on, I'll show you that in just a moment as we get to the end of the month. Here you can see we've got another upgrade going in the lab and we're just about to close out the month of March before the April Gold Pass. And I realized that we are falling behind. If you never wanna fall behind, then you have to make sure you stop by the live streams on Facebook Gaming. There is the URL right there. I live stream every single day except for Saturday that I am in town and I would love for you guys to come hang out with me. It's a relatively small stream, I'll tell you that right now. It's intimate. You can get your questions answered. You can chat with me anytime you want. Just come by and I am happy to answer any questions you might have. Now, oh yeah, yeah, we realized that we realized that the uh, mortars are maxed, and then we also realized that the expos um, are not maxed, but we'll get to that in just a moment. That was thanks to you guys and your 84,000 comments that you left on all of my videos reminding me that those expos needed another level. Okay, check out the raids. I mean, 2.8 million in loot, and it's time to get another upgrade going over here. And uh, what was I doing here? Oh yeah, we were gonna go ahead and try to do the similar upgrades on no cash and gold pass, meaning like one of each type thing. So we're trying to at least get the accounts so that they're kind of close in what they're choosing to upgrade. Now here it is, the level seven expos had to come back over to the correct side. So we went ahead and fast forwarded through that. And we're gonna move these down. I know a lot of you guys were really annoyed by the fact that I wasn't putting those in the proper spot, but finally everything is correct. And there we go. And by the end of today's episode, a couple of those are going to be maxed out, by the way, because I have a bunch of hammers. And uh, here we go. So another day goes by. One of those expos is upgraded and we're going to put the Grand Warden down. And yes, that is good news because he is finally going to level 50. Level 50 Grand Warden. That is awesome. Okay, uh, what else happened? Oh, yeah, yeah. So part of the problem of me being gone for about 10 days was this. 
Notice the amount of time that was left in the season, five hours and 46 minutes, and we had not unlocked the Shadow Royal Champion. And uh, it was close. We had to run out and destroy a bunch of Archer Queens or take them down or put them to sleep or whatever you want to call it. We took out a couple of Archer Queens to get the levels done, and then we were able to go back and just a few hours before it expired, pick up the final points, the final achievements, the final rewards on the Gold Pass track. And that was close. I mean, uh, it's it's been a rough month for me, you guys. I'm just going to admit to you that I haven't had a chance to play as much. I've fallen a little bit behind. Lots of stuff going on everywhere else. And, you know, real life sometimes can interfere. Now, finally, you've seen a bunch of mistakes made so far in today's video. And I'm just being honest with you guys. This is the mistake that I'm talking about that I thought I would never do. And that is, I let the season end and I have no builders free whatsoever. This is terrible because of course we have like 70 million loot sitting around waiting to be spent. So yes, we bit the bullet. We spent a few gems to free up one builder. And let's be honest, we have a lot of gems on this account, well over 2,500, so it didn't hurt to do that. We've got hammers as well. And notice, we're gonna go from no expos maxed to like 2.5 expos maxed, right? Here we go. So there's one with a hammer. Then we go back into the league shop. We buy another hammer of building. We look at the hammer of fighting. We look at the hammer of spells and we say, meh. Eh, meh, nah. Okay, we come back home and we spend another hammer on another expo. There we go. So quickly, two expos maxed out. And then I think we could go ahead. Actually, okay, I was wrong about 2.5. It's 3.0 expo because, yeah, we had a build, building a book, a book or bill, a bird. And it, all right, just forget that whole part right there. We had a book. It was a book of building. It was a book of building, and we got another expo done. Now we're going to do the royal champion on her way to level 15. Boom! She's unlocked another level. And again, we got to use all these books because we have so much loot and only one builder. Then we're over here. We are boosting the super troops, getting them ready for the future raids. In the meantime, now we're down to just over 100,000 dark elixir. So it doesn't feel so bad if you're getting raided with that much. But obviously now we got to work on the elixir and the gold. Boom! Check that one out. That was awesome. So many walls getting done. The elixir down to just over 2 million. The gold, that's right. Yet another expo. So I said, what did I say? 2.5, then I said 3. It's actually like, you know, almost all the expos maxed out. So that feels good to be on our way to... I, that's got to be ahead of No Cash Clash, right? I don't know. That, I feel like that's pretty far advanced. And there you can see a no builders free for a couple of days. And off to the status report we go for Gold Pass Clash, episode number 112. We lost a few trophies. It's Whoa. true, but that's okay because we're planning on dropping even further just to kind of test the waters. For uh -huh. the points, I promise to be more careful next month about that and make sure we get it done. For the gems, we spent a few, but only went Whoa. down 108 gems total, still over 2,500. The heroes are seeing new levels all of yeah. the time. And what about that next goal, folks? I don't know. What oh. do you guys think I should do? You let me know in the comments, and I will probably do it. Galafam, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know you are the true hashtag Galafam. That is why I love thinking about it. Appreciate it every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be going through the year. Be kind to of the people. I almost the planet. I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Let's go. I did that one try. Didn't even have to re-record it once. What do you think about that, Peter? Galigo. I'm not impressed. You're talking near the end of the video where I'm supposed to be the only one talking, not you.